Okay, guys, I'm just going to be honest with you. Our app is looking absolutely amazing, but there's one place that we can make it look more amazing, and that is by adding React Router. You see, currently we can see lists of beautiful stocks in our app, but if we want to click an individual stock and see detailed information about it, we can't really do that. And that is where React Router comes into play because React Router will allow us to pass in params to the URL. Now, it's not absolutely vital that you understand this whole entire process, but that is just an overview for now. Also, what React Router is going to do is split up our actual app into pages so that we can get some of the state and some of the logic out of our actual app component. Now, I did say that it is good to have all of your state and logic housed within one centralized location, but our app component is turning into a total monster. So we need to get some of that state and logic out. Here are all the links that you will need to install React Router and React Router DOM. And I also provided all the types as well too. So I'm gonna go ahead, hop inside VS Code, and I'm gonna start installing all of this. Okay, so first one I want to install is just regular React Router. Then I'm gonna go inside here. I'm gonna get React Router DOM. You also need to make sure that you get the DOM version as well too, because React Router is also for mobile and React Router DOM is what controls the web portion of it. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and install React Router DOM. Then we'll go up here, get the types for each one of them. You don't actually need the types, but since we're in TypeScript, I'm going to go ahead and install the types anyway, because you never know. So I'm going to go ahead and get the types for just regular React Router, just like that. And we should be good to go. So what we need to do right now is we need to create individual folders for our pages and for our routes. Routes can get very complicated, so it's best to keep them in a separate folder if you can. Then I'm going to go ahead and here and create a folder for each one of our pages. So I'm going to go search page. I'm going to go company page then i'm going to have the home page and within each one of these i'm going to go ahead and create the tsx file for them and the css i'm going to go home page company page i'm sorry css and i'm also going to go into here and throw in my snippet and take out the interface or take out the type so go type and that's looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same exact thing for the homepage. So homepage.tsx, homepage.css. And as usual, T-S-R-A-F-C-E, get rid of the type. And go ahead, move this over. Then I'm going to go do the same exact thing for the search page, of course. So go into here, say search page.tsx, search page.css, search page.css. And of course, going in here and using my snippet. So going to here, go ahead, move that over. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead into here and create our routes. Now we're going to use something called create browser router and create browser router. You really don't need to know that much about how create browser router works, but it's essentially just a factory that is going to create all of your routes for you and you just have to pass them in to the index file, which I will show you how to do here in a second. But for right now, let's just focus on create browser router. So I'm gonna go create browser router, just like this, and we're going to pass in an array. So go here, also bring it in. So the next thing that I need to do is I need to bring in a path. This is going to be the root path We'll also have an element. So the element is going to be our app. And this is basically going to tell the browser router uh, where it's going to start. So go ahead, bring this in. I'm going to control dot. So go ahead, bring this in. I'm going to use the quick fix. Go ahead and import that. And now what we need to do is we need to create our children. And this is probably the most important part of the actual router and we're going to create individual child paths for each one. So I've got child, and since there's nothing actually in it, this is going to be the home page. So we're gonna say home page. Just go ahead, toss in the home page right here. That looks good. And because these are going to be so similar, 
I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste them down. So I'm going to go copy, paste, copy, paste, get rid of that. And this is going to be our search page. So we'll have our search page like this. Go ahead, bring in search page right here because that is the component that we want to show and we need to bring it in. And also we are going to create the company detail page. So go into here, we're going to have the ticker and this is where we are going to pass in the ticker. And this will be our company page, just like that. Now what we need to do is we need to go into our actual index and what we're going to do is we're just going to pass what's called a router provider. So router provider is actually very simple to do. We just pass in what we made into the individual prop right here. And this is going to be what we just made. So I'm going to go into here, go ahead, pass in React Router. And also remember to bring in React Router DOM. This is actually, we want this to actually be React Router DOM. You could use the other React Router, but I use React Router DOM and that's what I know works. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to get everything out of the app. Remember that I said we need to get all of this excess state out of the app and we're going to take almost all of the state from the app since the app is basically a search page and we're just going to put it in the search page that we just made. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste this right here. So go copy and paste and make sure to have something there just to fill it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my page and I'm going to just copy and paste this into here. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is literally just copy and paste all of the logic from here into the actual search page as well too. So I'll go here, pass that into the, uh, so go into the search page and we're also going to put all of our logic up here. And of course we need to import everything as well too. So I'm going to go update import, going to bring in the company search, going to bring in the change event, also going to bring in synthetic event. So bring in synthetic event. And we're also going to bring in the search companies. Now what we need to do is go ahead. We need to make sure that we get all these taken care of as well too. So bringing nav bar. Also, we need to bring in the search button as well, too. So uh, let me see. Make sure not to import that from React Router DOM. Make sure that you're importing from the search. Otherwise, it's not going to work. This is an actual component. Just remember that. That Make sure not to import from React Router DOM because it's probably not going to work. So just please remember that. Okay. So our search page looks to be okay. Now what we need to do is we need to get rid of all of this stuff up here. And now what we need to do is we need to actually turn our app into where the outlet is. Basically, an outlet is going to display the page underneath the nav bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our nav bar right here. Now what we need to do is we need to bring in the outlet. Now, you don't, like I said, you don't need to know incredible amount about how outlets work. It's kind of a, just a strange term, but... The outlet is going to be imported from React Router. So I'm going to go into here, I'm going to go ahead and import React Router, and that should get it working. So let's go ahead and let's just test to see if it's actually working or not. And then we can go ahead and we can hook up all of our links. So our home page is working. Let's just see. Let's go search. Make sure our search page is working. Our search page is working. We need to get rid of that nav bar. I'll get rid of that nav bar here in a little bit. Then I'll say company. And I'll say Apple, just like that. And our company page is working as well too. But let's go ahead and let's do a couple things. First thing that we need to do is we need to get rid of the nav bar in the actual uh, search page because it's displaying two nav bars. Then what we need to do is we need to hook up all of our links. We have links in our actual website, but a lot of these links aren't actually working. So what I'm gonna do is, first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside the nav bar and let's hook up all of the nav bar links. So I'm gonna go inside of my nav bar real quick, go into here. And instead of having just the image by itself, a lot of people use the image to get back to the homepage. So I'm going to make sure that uh, anybody who clicks on the actual logo can use it to get back to the homepage. So I'm gonna go here, go ahead, bring that in, wrap that around the actual image and go ahead, add React Router DOM. Next thing is, 
we have this dashboard, but I think it may be better as just a link. So I'm going to call this uh, link right here and I'm going to say link and instead of dashboard just for now let's just have it take us to the actual search page as well too so I want to go uh, turn that into a uh, link for search and all that you have to do is react router knows what you registered in your routes and as long as it matches what's in your routes you should be good to go so that looks good for the search page Let's go and actually add the ability to click on our actual cards as well too. So if a user wants to see an individual stock, they will be able to do so. So I'm gonna go within the actual card and I'm going to turn this into a link. All of the styles will still be applied. It will still look good, but instead of it being uh, uh, just, a, just words, it will be a link as well too. And we need to take this to the actual company web page. And the way that we're going to do the company web page is going to look like this. So we're going to have company, then we will have, then we're going to pass in the search result. And this is just a nifty way for us to be able to pass data into our actual link so that when the what API triggers, you will be able to go get that data. And we're going to actually hook up the API in the next video. So we'll be doing that in the next video, but for right now, just kind of hang on for a second because you may not know what's going on, but trust me, this is going somewhere. That looks good, but we also need to add the link to our portfolio as well too. So instead of having the portfolio value just like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into a link. So I'm gonna go link, I'm going to give this a link right here, and we're going to take this once again to the actual company page. So we're gonna say company and we'll have a, so, so we'll say company and we'll have a slash and we're going to pass in the portfolio value. So say portfolio value, that looks good. Now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and bring in actual React Router DOM. So I'm gonna go here, go React Router DOM. And one last thing is the hero page as well too. So let's go ahead and there's a couple links on our hero page and we want to be able to actually go to the search bar whenever we go to the hero page. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna turn this A into a link. So I'm gonna go link, go ahead, pass this down. And same exact thing, going to need to bring this in. So I'm gonna go here, gonna go quick fix, react writer DOM. And instead of the href, what we're going to have is we're going to have the search page. Also, while we are at it, let's go ahead and add our hero to the home page as well, too. So I have the home page just like this, just to make it look a little bit better. I guess you don't really have to per se, but I think it will look make things look absolutely amazing. So instead of just having the home page right here, let's just go ahead and add our hero and go ahead and bring this in. So hero and we're going to add the import hero. So let's go ahead, let's go inside our app and let's see if things are looking good. So that was the old way. Now we have the actual home page with a real header. We can get started. We have our search. We can search Apple. This is actually looking really good. I'm really like, I'm really liking the way this app is looking. Uh, company page, so it brings us to our company page and let's also add to our portfolio here. So I'm gonna add to my portfolio and we can also get to the company through our portfolio as well. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.